Hey Alex, uh, welcome to the channel. On uh, today's video, we'll be fishing with uh, crankbaits, uh, shad imitating crankbaits. Uh, whole week, a uh, couple of my uh, guys, they were uh, killing them on uh, shad based uh, lures. So, on, uh, so I decided to fish today instead of the, uh, during the warm days of the week. So, I got a cold front to deal with and a little bit of wind but uh, I brought my uh, microphone so hopefully we will have a, uh, a little bit better audio than uh, we usually get but uh, let's get to it looks like the water is still a little bit high and uh, there is a wind from the north We'll see. Doesn't seem too bad. Just a little bit of cold. Yesterday was probably, uh, I would say, 86, 87 degrees, and now we're in the low 40s. So it'll be tough, but uh, I never back down from a challenge. We're just gonna have to work the lure pretty slow. And today I'll be fishing with my uh, diver. It's a little bit higher gear ratio. Uh, we're used for crankbaits, but uh, we'll make it work. And I got my uh, shad pattern from uh, Becker Lures. I chose a little bit uh, high vis uh, lure with uh, shark truce because the water is a little bit muddier. I'm gonna be using the the shad scent today simply because uh, right now the shads are getting to spawn and some areas they're spawning so Uh, I just got here like two minutes ago. Uh, I got three here this morning. Oh, cats? Yeah, up there. Shattered 4.30, they really fit pretty well. Oh, okay. Nice. Any smallmouth or no? No, I fish the cat. Oh, okay. All right, man. Let's take this look. This is the second lure that I snagged. And fall off. I might still have it. No. Well, that's a yum craw, that's for sure. But uh, they're using a tiny jig for a crappie. 
I don't think that uh, they thought this through, to be honest. Yeah, look at this. It's a little baby jig on a craw. That wouldn't work. And uh, they were using a fluke. With this hook, which is a no-go. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was the same guy. It's a nice large mouth. Well, it was raining, so moved on to a different spot. Hopefully we'll get some uh, good ones. It's a good fighter right there. Oh, it's a big one too. Wow. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Oh, they got my blood pumping. Now I don't feel that bad losing my lure, getting a big girl like that. And uh, what I was doing was just casting it on the stacks of water. just reeling it in slowly and of course I'll get snagged once in a while but anyways uh, even those those big bass they'll stack up they'll stack up around these areas and those uh, low current areas so it's always good to check you never know what you're gonna catch. As you guys saw, that was a nice uh, 
you don't get uh, three pound uh, smallies that often, especially on a small river system like this one. That was a nice bonus. And I know over here there's a lot of walleye. But we're definitely after smallmouth. I'm surprised that three pounder didn't put up uh, that big of a fight. Usually, for a big bass like that, for a big smallie like that, it'll take me like four to five minutes to pull it out. But like I said, that one probably was uh, just trying to spawn. Let's see if we can get uh, a couple or more and uh, we'll move down to another area. Actually, I'm gonna fish this area pretty early, then I'm gonna move down over there. Uh, there's pretty good, uh, good slack of water. Like I said this morning, the conditions are uh, real tough. We just had a cold front come in, drop the temperatures about 45 to 50 degrees. Right now it's 43 degrees and uh, last night it was, yesterday I should say it was uh, on the high 80s. So, it's tough. But, and uh, we just had a little bit of rain. So, <laughs> uh, that's another minus. But we're over here grinding it up. Yeah, so over here, uh, something went wrong with my uh, microphone. So I gotta do a voiceover. Uh, I cast it on the same spot uh, that I got the big female and I guess this was the male that I got and uh, it did put up a, a pretty big fight <clears throat> well at least uh, little, I think at least it put up a better fight than the uh, female uh, mm -hmm. even though I did had a, a dog hook it went short to their jaw jawbone and uh, I couldn't take it off I had to break the hook off from it. Um, I just grabbed my pliers, uh, snipped a little barb, so it's a lot easier uh, to remove the hook. And uh, like I said, I don't know why the audio wasn't working, but uh, I'm pretty sure this was the male uh, guarding the uh, nest or whatever. But uh, Oh well, guys, I just changed my battery on the camera, ran out. Didn't have much luck back on that side, so I'm moving down to this side, which in the past, I had pretty good luck. I was fishing actually from over there. And uh, I know there is pike over here, but I'm trying to avoid that from past experiences. So, hopefully, we'll get on some uh, nice big girls. I don't know if I should try this area. It's a big one. 
another big one nice now the landing part is going to be difficult oh yeah Look at that slob, guys. <laughs> That's the second big one that I got from here. Except the hook got twisted. Let's see if we can get it out without pliers. Wow, oh, that's another probably like two and a half pounder. Look at that beauty. I'm gonna let it go. That's another beauty. I mean, I can understand if I had a real sharp hook. But guys, take a look at this. It's not even cutting into my skin anymore. And this thing got loose, so I was pretty lucky to pull it out. Amazing. I almost gave up on this spot and I get a decent one. Alright guys, uh, it's almost noon. Had a, a good productive day fishing. Uh, got uh, three nice ones and uh, one small large mouth in the morning. I wasn't expecting rain. I know it was going to be a cold front and it was going to be tough but uh, it turned out to be a pretty good day actually. So, um, that said, I did find, uh, well actually today I found a couple of plastics, but uh, usually I, around this time of the year I find a lot of hard baits and stuff. Let me know if I should do a challenge with lures that uh, I have found. Um, I'll include uh, Young and Fishless on it, uh, most likely, or oh, probably. He'll love to do a challenge with me. So, uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if we should do a... Uh, lure challenge that uh, we'll find from the river or uh, pond. So thanks for watching guys See you guys on the next one